Ricky Hewan, congratulations. A fantastic performance over 120 minutes. How are you feeling after that one? Uh, yeah, ecstatic. Uh, boys made us made us wait, made us stay out in the cold for an extra 30 minutes. But no, it was it was really worth it. The boys, um, apart from that first opening spell where I think we let the nerves get a little bit the better of us. Um, full pl full credit to the boys. They uh, they fully deserved it on the night and uh, really delighted for them. Talking from your point of view very quickly, when we went two 0 down, I'm sure there was a few nerves or two kicking in, but. It looks very cool on the line and very composed. What were your instructions to the lads when the second goal went in? Very much the same, really. I think myself and Ross, even though it was 2-0 down, I thought we started the game quite well. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't too much of, you know, ripping up the game plan and, and, you know, going to plan B straight away. I felt that once we managed to get a foothold in the, in the match, the boys would show their quality. And, and that's eventually what ended up happening. So it was just about us believing in, in the process and, and what we'd been working on all week, what we prepared for. Um, and really, we should have been in level at half time. Uh, you know, really, Ewan. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was about sticking to the process, you know, apply ourselves a bit more clinically in the final third, which we managed to do, get ourselves back in the game. And then um, we took control from there. Let's speak to Ewan now. Ewan, two goals for you tonight. You've definitely shone. Uh, on a on a night when it really mattered for Sutton, talk us to your two goals and how how you uh, feel after that one. I'm buzzing, really. Um, feel like I could have got a couple more goals, but I'm happy to help the team with two and get us through to the next round. First one was especially important just before half time when it looks like you'd be entering the dressing room two 0 down, needing a stern team talk and something to rile you up for the second half. But you certainly you kept everything calm in the, sec in the dressing room with that goal. Yeah, it helped us. It helped us massively in the second half because I think it um, shocked Gillingham, so it allowed us to get that edge on them. And so in the second half we had a good start. We could get that second goal. And getting through at last, how does that feel in the end? You never know where you you could head to, especially after last season. How do you, how do you feel you could potentially be meeting some top sides in the next round? Buzzing. That's it. All I can say. Buzzing. <laughs> Can't wait. Fantastic, Ricky. Uh, we'll see you again. So obviously, as I've alluded with uh, you, went through to the next round. Obviously, you had Liverpool last season, and it was a fantastic trip for the lads that were here then. So new couple of players now. How are you feeling ahead of the draw? Yeah, excited. I've, for some reason, it's been done differently this year. Obviously, the years previous, we've we've knew who we were going to be playing in, ne in the next round before this fixture, which isn't the case now. So we look forward to the draw. Um, we go with it with confidence. Um, obviously, we've got a very good record in the Youth Cup for the, for the past three or four years. Um, we take any home game. You know, it's another opportunity for the for the players to to play in, this, in the stadium in front of the fans, which were brilliant tonight. So, yeah, really excited. Hopefully, we get another good home home draw for the fans with another opportunity of, you know, hopefully going in a, into the third and, and beyond. Really, but we you know we can't take it. Uh, you know, more than one step at a time. That's it. And speaking of one step at a time, straight back to the job on Saturday in the league. Um, well, no, we uh, we were meant to play on Friday, but with it being FA Youth Cup week, um, we don't have a fixture this weekend. So the boys will be getting a, a you know a hard hard earned rest, and we we we, uh, we revisit it for the following week. Fantastic. Well, Ricky, you massive congratulations for all of us here at Saturday. Thank you. Well done tonight. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.